In this video, I'm trying to prove a point that you don't need really, really pricey paints to be able to make a really pretty painting. So today I'm highlighting some supplies that are available at Michael's Craft Stores, who are also sponsoring this video. Thank you, Michael's. I love you, Michael's. Specifically, these acrylic paints by Artist Loft. They have three grades of paint, a series one, two, and three, three being the most professional and one being more student grade and super affordable. And honestly, these student grade paints do wonders. These have a great consistency. They've got a solid amount of pigment in them. They mix super nicely. I also got a real value pack of brushes by Princeton. These are also super affordable. Whenever you get a value pack, it's always a lot of bang for your buck. And they're my favorite, super high quality. Love the soft bristle synthetic brushes. And I also got an Artist Loft palette mixing knife. The only item here that's a little more professional grade is this Artist Loft canvas. It's a series three, but Artist Loft also makes some really great value canvases that Michaels has too. Also, I'm having a terrible voice day, so please ignore how my voice sounds right now. So just to talk through my painting process here a little bit with these acrylics, I'm sketching out my wave with the lightest blue I have, and then I'm starting to mix up some sky colors, adding a little bit of white as I go down to create a little bit of a gradient in the sky, give it a little more dimension. And then I'm just blocking in some of the bigger colors on my piece so that I can layer up details on top. So I'm doing some blue water in the background, a little blue in the front, add some green on the wave. Slowly changing the color on the wave to be a little bit bluer and darker as we move down. And then I'm taking a lighter green, adding some highlights there. And then a purpley blue as the shadow part of the foam of my wave. You can see as I'm working with these Artist Loft paints that they go on the canvas pretty solidly. You're not seeing a lot of see-through. You're seeing a little bit because I've diluted it with a little bit of water, but there's not a lot of see-through with these paints, which is awesome. A lot of, a lot of student-grade acrylic paints have a lot of transparency to them, which can be great, but I like to have a little bit more uh, opaque of a color. These Artist Loft Series 1 student-grade paints hold up to my standards for opacity. <laughs> wave there so I can show that there's some light shining through but I'm still just mostly continuing to block in the colors I'm fixing my line because I'm bad at drawing straight lines and now I want to make it straighter highlights on the water in the background highlights on the water in the front just slowly adding some details Focusing on the foam of my waves here, adding some white to the edges of the foam where the light's hitting it, and some streaks in that wave. I'm taking that little round brush there and adding some details in the foam, more details in the wave. And you can start to see now that even though this painting is made with not super professional paints, it still looks like a really nice painting. I still made a painting that I love and turned out beautiful with paints that are budget friendly. <laughs> it's really not about the supplies you have, it's about what you do with them. The full length version of this tutorial is going to be exclusively available on patreon.com for the folks who decide to make monthly contributions to my channel to support me and my art. And here's my finished painting. There's our little wave. I'll see you in the next video.